Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the Rod Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to do a locking wrap on a small frame single foot guide. So y'all stick around. So I tried to show you this on the frog rod build, but cameras weren't playing nice. So we lost that footage. This is not a technique that I use on every rod, but on a flipping stick that has smaller guides, single foot guides on it and on frog rod, or any heavy worm rod that you're going to use a smaller frame single foot guides i recommend using this technique is it absolutely necessary no it's not and this is my way to do it it's not the only way to do it i've seen some other people lock single foot guides in using different techniques this is the one that i use the one i think the best so let's get going with it all right so i have a blank chucked up in my power wrapper here i've got the CRB uh, micro guide bands, I normally put them on, I put the extra ones on when I'm doing a static load test and this holds my uh, small guides in place. So I've got one here on the blank. I've got an Alps single foot size six guide. It's a, it's a size six ring. Now how I would do this is first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take my pick. It's got a little hook on it that I have sanded, filed flat. And I'm going to slide it underneath the band. And then I take my little needle nose pliers that I have the masking tape on to get rid of the teeth. And I'm going to hold the guide by the ring very lightly with my needle nose pliers I open up a gap I slide it in I pull my pick and the guides temporarily held in place with these micro rubber bands now let's start the wrap so I'm going to do this with a red thread hopefully you can see this against the blank and against the silver background I'm trying to figure out how to do this so that I don't know what I'm going to cover this with, but I realize when you guys are watching these videos that there's a lot of glare coming off of this uh, aluminum rail here. And I'm trying to figure something out. So if you guys have a suggestion for me, uh, let me know down in the comments. So here we go. I'm going to do this wrap with the technique of just taping off on the back side. I've shown you guys several ways to do this, but I'm going to tape this off on the high side of the blank. I'm going to put my power wrapper in wrap mode. I forgot to do that. Uh, Alright, we're in wrap. Got to find my foot pedal. Now, pull some tension back. Now let's start the wrap like we normally would. I'm going to come up close behind the guide foot. And now I'm coming across the top of the guide foot. I come out about four wraps past the toe, keep my wraps smaller, I'll come over to tie that down, locking it down to the blank, and then I'll really start my wrap here. Now we're getting up on the toe of the guide foot. Okay, now I'm going to take my tag end loose, take my nippers, I'm going to nip this tag end out of the way, take my burnishing tool, tighten this wrap up, get rid of the gaps, just like you would with any normal wrap. I'll finish my wrap out here. And a little bit of a gap there I'm not fond of. I'll pull these back up upstream here. Okay. Run it up close to the rubber band. Now I have the foot firmly secured under my wrap. I'm just going to take my razor blade. And I'm just going to touch that rubber band with the corner of my razor blade. And it pops loose. And we're running up close to about five wraps for where I would terminate my wrap, which is going to be here. And I'll put a thread pull in. Now, I like using 
the 20 pound yellow braid just because it's easier for me to see and I don't lose them. Okay, now we've got, there's room for, by, when I pack this back, I'm going to have room for maybe one more regular wrap there. So when I pack this in here, slides all these threads back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cross over behind the ring. I'm going to hold some tension here with my finger coming over behind the ring. And I'm going to do that twice. Hold some tension. And behind the ring. And then my final wrap before I pull my thread through. Is back across the top. Of the guide foot. And I'll pull the thread over to get on the outside. And then I'll cut it and finish my wrap out like I normally would. So let's cut it. Drop it through the loop. Pull your tag in out. Trim it with a razor blade. I'm going to lay the razor blade flat. Pull the thread to it. There we go. It's gone. Disappeared completely. I'll take my pick here. I'm just going to tighten this gap up. And then I have one on the other side. But I don't know if you can see this. But you now have thread behind the foot. And then the last wrap came across the top. And it really pinches tight. On the foot of the guide. And when you get your epoxy in there. It's, uh, it's not coming out. You will not be able to pull that wrap that guide out from underneath that wrap so that's all there is to the locking guide wrap the way i do it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time